Hey there, I'm James and this is another video about how to twine. In this episode, we are talking about how to put images into your twine file. Uh, and you are staring at the code for how to do it right now. If you know any HTML, this should look familiar. Uh, if you don't, it's easy enough to explain. This is a little piece of HTML code which is going to find an image uh, and it's going to give an alt tag to the image, it's going, to, which is, I'll explain in a minute. Uh, and it's also going to adjust the image's height and width. So, a couple things to know. First thing is you can't load images into your Twine file itself. When you tell the image to look for a source, that source has to be a URL. It has to be on the internet somewhere. So, um, it basically has to be a link to a web page that has only an image on it, right? Um, so if you have some kind of um, photo bucket or some internet um, picture storing place uh, service, that would be great. Uh, otherwise, you're, you're relying on finding images online and make, hoping that they're stable for your game to still work. Um, alt is what the computer reads. It's text that the computer reads for um, internet users that are visually impaired. So because they can't see what the image is, uh, the, t the, the computer will then read the description of the image that you type into the alt tag. Uh, and if you're not happy with the, the default size of the image that you find, then you can resize it using these. But you don't need to. Uh, so let's show you how this works. I have already searched for a picture of cats on the internet, and I like this one. So I found the page that it was on. It was on one of these um, file sharing sites or these uh, picture using sites by Mail96, which seems suspicious for some reason. Anyway, uh, I can't link to this page because it's a whole HTML page. It doesn't just have the picture. So I opened it up in its own uh, tab. And here's the picture of the cat. I'm going to copy this URL, not the other one. Really, if I were going to do this for real, I would download this image, upload it to my own uh, space on the internet, and link to that instead uh, so that I could trust that it would be there permanently. Uh, but for the example of this video, it's fine just to link to somebody else's file. If user mail96 ever decides to delete their account uh, and get rid of this image, though, then my link will break, right? So we go to Twine, and in image source, we, we paste that URL that we just got, Pixabay, link to that image, to the cat. In alt, we can say something like, a cat stares at you. Uh, and see how that goes. Let's, uh, let's play. You can see that when it loads, there's the cat. And the image is quite a bit bigger than I need it to be. So I will experiment with resizing it. Uh, I will try. Actually, I tried this before, and this comes out kind of okay. 500 by 700. That's a little bit better. Although you can see, I think you can see that the cat space is a little squished compared to the way it is in the actual picture. Right, a little bit distorted. Um, that's because it's not going to resize it proportionately. So if, you know, if I did uh, 70 pixels instead, we would see that the cat's squished, but just as tall. So uh, as you're resizing, try to keep in mind um, the dimensions of your photo if you can, right? Because you don't want to end up with all your pictures looking really weird. Another way to do it would be to take the image into a photo editing tool like uh, Photoshop or what's the free version, free similar version of that online, and then just resize the image to the size you want, then upload it and link to that. Um, then you can be more sure about the proportions that you're that you're getting here. Okay, uh, and that is it. That is how you put an image into your thing. It's, uh, here, let me get rid of all the details again so you can see the code again. It is just IMG, SR, these, these carrots are really important on either side too. So inside these carrots you put image source, uh, the source of the image, the whatever text you want the computer to read to users who are visually impaired, and then whatever size you want it to be. Um, let's do this actually. Let me show you just how it sits on the page. If I type text above, 
and text below, then you'll see that the image shows up in the middle of those two pieces of text. Above and below, right? Uh, so play around with where you want the words to appear and how you want the image to look and stuff like that. Uh, you can do all kinds of HTML. If you know HTML, then you know, you're know you probably not watching this video. But if you learn more of it, I guess, uh, those of you who are still watching, uh, you can do a lot of things with like tables and stuff and how to position things on the page and where the language goes and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. But right now we're just learning how to throw some pictures in there so you can add a visual element to your game. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks, and uh, see you next time.